Hi, and welcome to my Ducky Leap movie review. So, this is the very first live action Ducky Leap movie that we ever got. And you want to know, is it good or is it bad? Now, we have plenty of, you know, um, animated Ducky Leap movie before, but never ever that we ever got a live action Judge Lee movie before. And you wanna know that you wanna know if the very first live action Judge Lee movie is, is good or, or is it bad. And um I can't do a a review of the Judge Lee movie or I should say any DC Thin Universe movie we are talking about two things. That's Schneider or Rotten Tomato. Okay? Because cause any, anytime someone mentions DC Thin Universe movie to me, two things come in mind. That's Schneider, Rotten Tomato. Okay? So I'm going to talk about those two things for, uh, for just briefly. Now, and a lot of people, um, uh, you know, have have problem with Rotten Tomato and, uh, you know, Rotten Tomato and the DC Thin Universe movie. How every time a DC Thin Universe movie come out, Rotten Tomato hits them hard with bad score like twenty percent, twenty seven percent, all that stuff. And people have a theory that. Oh, uh, what did they pay Rotten Tomato to give DC Thin Universe movie bad scores on Rotten Tomato? And so, um, and 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 another thing I ha in my opinion, that the reason why, uh, and another, and, and this, is, this is just my opinion. Another reason why they get back gory is because uh, Dad Schneider is involved. He, he dressed in the movie. Okay? Um, cause we know we know that um, the, the Dutch Elite was got to buy Dad Schneider, you know, early this year early this, early this year um, Early this year, um, that Schneider and daughter commit Thursday, so, so Jack Weedon stepped in and did some research, and the movie uh, now was cut down to two hours, and so, you know, all that problem and stuff. And, and for me, when I was watching the movie tonight at the theater, I feel like everybody liked it. Okay, everybody were, were laughing at the joke and stuff. And and and, and for me, there's another thing uh, that that people are concerned about the about, about the DC Thin Universe movie. That people are like, what's wrong? If if the movie is dark, the critics don't like it. If the movie is light with joke and, and bright color. They don't like it. That's the that, that thing. Well, we can't please. The, you know, basically that the thing that about about the tomatoes. Because like we saw that last year with Batman v Superman. It was dark. They didn't like it. You know, about the tomatoes. Um. So. So tomorrow, when when we, when we uh, when everybody gets a chance to see it, you know, not you know, like you know, like. Like, a lot of people get to see it tomorrow. I'll do a video about Rotten Tomato and all the scores and stuff, okay? But, but for me, I like the movie, but it wasn't a perfect movie. A perfect, a perfect superhero movie. It wasn't horrible. So, I don't care what Rotten Tomato says or anything. But, but I do sometimes believe that what, what, uh, what a critic said can turn somebody away. 
Like if if a critic give a movie a really bad score and, and they want to do a movie, let's say if 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 um somebody really excited, super excited to do a movie, but they see they see like a critic a review of a movie a score of a movie and they see it and it really back a really bad grade, and that might turn them away. Okay, and um, but for me, it's a it's a an average uh uh superhero movie, but not one of the best. But when I, when I review a when I review a um when I review a um a movie, I I, I review it from either an F to an A plus. This time I'm not gonna do that because. Cause I don't know where that would fall into the character line, but 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 if if I had to play uh, the Justice League movie out of all the other um, DC Thin Universe movie, I would say I would say the Justice League movie is one of the best DC Thin Universe movie. Okay, because. Um, let me just take a moment and, and, and say that I, w I wish uh, that, that Batman v Superman w were awesome, but it wasn't. Because how can you have Batman and Superman in a movie fighting and not be awesome, but it wasn't. It wasn't. I hated that movie. You know, you know, when I was little, back in the early, two early 2000, I was like, wow, they're going to... Wow, they're gonna be a Batman. One day they're gonna be a Batman and Superman in a movie fighting. But now uh, they had that movie last year, and it was horrible. And then you had you had Suicide Squad. For me, I like Suicide Squad better, better than uh, Batman vs Superman. You know, I like Harley Quinn, but. But, and I didn't, and going back to 2013, 2013, um, I like, I like Harry Carmel as Superman, but the movie was kind of rushed and too much, you know, uh, everybody was smashing into buildings and stuff. So, to me, this is my opinion. If if you if you go if you go, if you follow the credit and run tomato, they'll probably say this like the third band. Uh the, the third band. Um uh DC Thin uh Thin Universe movie. The, 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 what they will do is they'll probably say that one woman in the band and then then it men it still for me. I like this movie probably as much as the Wonder Woman. But um this is this is, this is just my theory. The reason why Wonder Woman got uh, like good play by Rotten Tomato is because it's the very first live action uh the very first live action female superhero movie. Okay? And they don't want to give uh, the very first live action uh, female superhero movie a bad grade. Okay, that's in my theory, in my opinion. And I like that movie. So, uh, looking at looking at all the um, DC things in the movie, I would say this is my uh, probably my second favorite behind Wonder Woman. Uh, could still the best. So I would say. This is the second best. Man and Steel, the third best. Um, the fourth best would be Suicide Squad. The fifth best, Batman v Superman. Okay? Um, okay. And my two favorite um, uh, DC Standing uh, Universe movie is um, Wonder Woman. And got to leave. And um, 
And I don't know what grade I would give this. You know, you know when I when I when I review a movie, I I I, I go from an F to an A plus, and um, you know, you know, I think a bunch of other stu uh, stupid horror movies out there that like uh, way worse than this. Like you know, Fan Fourth Day. Um, so um, um. I would, I would say, if I had to pick a grade, I would give this a, either, either a B, or a C plus. Uh, it's not better than Wonder Woman, but this is definitely, definitely better than Thursday Quad. Uh, and definitely, definitely better than, uh, Batman v Superman. I, w I wish that would have been awesome. Cause how can you have, uh, how can you have the two, the two, well, iconic, uh, superheroes of all time in a movie, in a movie ba bad. Okay? So, I would say I'll probably give it a C plus. And, and I hate to say this, but, I hate to say this, but, I probably like it better than, uh, I ate a Voltron. But the only time, the only reason I didn't like Age of Voltron that much was because of all that stupid uh Black Widow falling in love with the uh, Hulk. And Ultron Ultron was a weak villain. Cause you know in the comic book, Ultron was more stronger. Um so, I'm gonna say that I get that C plus and that uh, Justice League is way better than Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad. And for me, I like Suicide Squad better than v Superman. And for me, for me, the, uh, uh, the, the highlight of uh, Suicide Squad was Harley Quinn. And um, and, and for me, if, if they want to, uh, if they want, um, DC Thin Universe want to, uh, if DC Thin Universe want to get good, start getting good grades, I want a tomato, get rid of Zack Snyder, and, and get, uh, a different, uh, director for their movie. I'm sorry, but, uh, Zack Snyder is ruining their movie. Okay, cause uh, you know, you know tonight, uh, you know the uh, Justice League movie was, was funny, had a bunch of jokes, kind of like Thor Ragnarok or a uh, Marvel movie. The movie was joke, you know. Aquaman was cracking jokes. Uh, Barry Allen, The Flash was cracking jokes. Um, even Bruce Wayne, Batman was cracking jokes. And um, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow morning, whether or not. I want to make them like the movie or not. And I'll do a, bit, a whole video on that. I want to make or not. But for me, I like the movie. I get the movie a D plus. And. Thank you for watching my Dutch Elite movie review. Stay tuned to my spoiler. Dutch Elite. Uh, movie, spoiler review. Thank you for watching.